All right, check it out, Scrapper. CC Scraps here. How y'all doing? It's Wednesday. Um, my truck's empty because we're going to try something a little different today. We're going to go do another basement clean out. Um, my brother-in-law is redoing his basement. There's a furnace, a bunch of metal, a cast iron tub is from what he's telling me. A uh, cast iron sink maybe, I think, and a bunch of skibbles. So it's supposed to be a good truckload. So anyway, I emptied my truck out. I was supposed to go to the VA hospital today and just do a checkup. You know, I'm turning 50 this year, and for you know, all know what that means, it's time to cross that bridge. Uh, nothing's wrong. I just PMCS, you know, preventative checks, preventative maintenance checks and services. If you are military, you know what that means, especially U.S. Army. Uh, so anyway, I emptied my truck out, got all the snow out of it to do, you know, to fill up my truck with this guy's stuff, but... As you can see over here, my workshop looks like somebody tossed a hand grenade in here on me. I managed to acquire all this stuff over the weekend. I got a coin operated dryer or washer. I'm probably going to cut the wires out of that thing. That's a big old harness right there. A uh, stainless steel sink. There's a stove under here. Uh, I'd like to take this thing apart because, I mean, there's just... I don't know. I mean, I don't know what I'm going to do. But I'm definitely going to cut the cord off. And I'm probably just going to do a big 10 run because, unfortunately, I need this space. Uh, I'm going to probably take back these ACRs. I'm going to take back all that number three wire. Uh, I don't know, scrappers. I got microwaves to break down. Those I'm definitely breaking down. Crock pots to break down. I feel like all that's going to be stainless steel. And of course it's not, but I know this is aluminum, but I did check that. Or is it the other one? Yeah, this is aluminum. That might just go back to the yard. That's aluminum, and that's aluminum. Oh! Rot. rot, you know what. So I guess these are all going to go back. Except the aluminum, this, and this. So those two go back. The microwave stay. Uh... Woo! I still got this bench grinder to test to. I took the cord off it and I hooked up a different cord to it and I think I crossed some wires and it made a funny noise so I shut it off. But at least it boots up. It tried to spin up but I got nervous. Uh, other than that, we're going to get this all loaded up and we're going to do us a scrapyard run today and then we'll do a video with the basement clean out later tonight. Uh, yeah, I got a lot of tin, man. I don't even know what tin is. I haven't been in the scrapyard in forever. But I also, too, had to sweep all this snow out of my truck because scrapyards don't like when you bring a lot of snow because apparently it adds weight. And y'all will say, oh, it doesn't add that much. But if, if you think about it, if every truck that they did that day came in with, let's say, five extra pounds of snow, ten extra pounds of snow, that adds up after a while. It's like the last I heard tin was like 220 a ton in my area. So do the math, y'all. Uh, anyway, we're going to get loaded up. So tight. Oh, quick shout outs. I want to do some shout outs. Y'all all know these guys Allie Mac, Bravehearts, excuse me, Scrapper, Dusty Blonde, and Snobby Scrap Picker. Check out their channels. Very cool content. Uh, definitely. Snobby, you're like the freaking crafty, pretty crafty, some stuff you come up with. Nally Mac, if I could bring you to the States to be my mechanic, that would be perfect. But, you know how that goes. All right, y'all. I'm going to get this loaded up. All right, scrappers, we are loaded up. Cut the wire out of that washer. Uh, pirated everything I could, more or less. Uh, we got two bins of number three wire, a bunch of tin, all down there. Uh, coming around here, more tin. Over in here, more tin. This is going to be a big tin run, most of it. And then in here, we got some ACRs. I'm going to stick those in the back. So uh, we'll see what it weighs and what it pays, y'all. Sit tight. We'll do a uh, follow-up in a bit. What's up, scrappers? CC Scraps. We're going to do another scrapyard run. We're going to do two, 
two runs. I did one a couple days ago, and I'm going to make this the whole video. Like, we're going to do two runs of 10. Uh, basically, it's just one big 10 run. Got an old fan, ironing board, uh, some random uh, furnace parts. You know, just a regular old run of the mill, 10 run, so to speak. Uh, let's see, some old bed frames about it you guys uh what's this thing oh old treadmill there's a garage door opener down there some old cookware uh there goes the chain for the garage door opener as y'all can see that uh it's one crazy day in upstate new york well not really this is like a normal day my heart goes out to all y'all in texas and down south it uh some bad stuff going on down there i hope y'all get your power soon uh, and everything goes back to normal for you. I know in your city or your state isn't used to having snow. Like this snow right here is what we have. This is like a, a, you know, this is like a regular old weekday. Like this is normal for February in Syracuse. But uh, for you guys that aren't used to it, like, you know, there's no salt down there. You guys don't have a, a snow plow, like an emergency. Like you probably don't even have snow plows on hand, you know? Um, and that's that's just the way it is. It's it, it's 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 paradise down south. I've been down south and it's gorgeous down there. Never been to Texas though. Always wanted to. Had a pen pal in Texas when I was real little in El Paso. Um, but like I said, man, this is the run. Hope everything goes well in Texas and the southern states that are out of power. And my heart goes out to all the families that have lost ones and have been injured. I really do hope everything goes back to normal for y'all soon. Um, all right, we're going to get this uh, out to the scrapyard, and we'll do a double. I already got the one from yesterday, or not yesterday, a few days ago, and then we'll just do a comparison, and I'll do a price list from a couple weeks ago to today. All right, y'all, stay safe now. We'll see you in a bit. check it out scrappers we are back from the yard we're gonna did a two for one was I was gonna do a two different videos like I said but I wanted to do since I had both receipts and I didn't put up the footage yet and I had to do another run we did two runs all right so check it out we've got us that was my finger over the thing the first run was let's break it down here Steel price dropped a little bit, uh, $193 a ton. We had 680 pounds for $58.58. Then we had those ACR cakes. If you saw that video where I baked the ACR cakes the hard way, <laughs> um, this is those aluminum air conditioner radiators, uh, air conditioner radiators, sorry. I had 10 pounds of those. For I think that's a dollar thirty a pound for thirteen dollars. Then I had all that boatload of number three wire. Uh, that was the big hit on that one. Or actually, no, it wasn't. That was the second big hit. Fifty-eight pounds at thirty. Is that say thirty-nine cents a pound? For a grand total of ninety-four dollars and twenty cents. The second one was that video of you see me at the scrapyard. This was just a tin run because I have to empty my truck because I'm doing a basement clean out. And that was part of it. I just didn't have my phone to film. Uh, that's uh, 340 pounds 
for a uh, grant still $193 a ton for $29.29. So in the last few days, I've made over $100 in scrap with just stuff, basically maybe an hour and a half's worth of work. Like, that's pretty good money, y'all. And we're gonna go over some prices. Uh -oh. Hey, baby. Hey. What's happening? Not You're not even in focus. There we oh. go. Okay, now you are. Right. Nothing's in focus for me right Yeah, now. I know. Your head hurts. What you got? Uh, your gloves. Oh, that's yes, right. You check your size. You're making your, me gloves, your baby. Middle finger. <laughs> <laughs> Let's check this out. What do you think? Pretty neat. Well, that fits really good. Oh, nice. Yeah. This is my favorite color is yellow and green. John Deere green. That's it. It's either that or black, but I chose John Deere green. Coming out nice. Yeah. Thanks, baby. Much appreciated. Those are going to look cool when they're done. I like the ring around the, 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 yeah. the sleeve or the cuff. All right, so scrap prices... I got two different lists. One is from February 9th, and then the other is from February 19th, which I think is today, isn't it? I don't know. Let me look at my phone. February 20th. Okay, as of yesterday. All right, so <clears throat> Bear Bright Copper is still holding at $3.21 a pound there. I think it actually went up. Let me get over here. Bear Bright Copper. Three dollars and twenty-six a pound. It went up four cents. Let's check some wire. This is number one, number two, and number three insulated wire. Dollar forty-one. Remember this: dollar forty-one a pound for number one. Number two is ninety-three cents a pound, and it is thirty-nine cents a pound um, for number three. So we're going to go over here. Dollar forty-one. It's still the same amount. So, yeah. So far, everything is still um, aluminum radiators. I just showing you what pretty much some of the stuff that I brought back and things like that. So anyway, yeah, that was it. That was the scrapyard run, double time. So when you get this video up, we'll see you on the next one. Stay safe. Wear your mask. Wash your hands. CC scraps. Peace.